find the bottleneck that's holding you back. So if you're looking to make progress and you kind of feel stuck in a rut and you're kind of like doing the same thing over and over and you're kind of like, oh, why aren't I seeing progress in this? Like for me, I've been working out for three, three and a half years now. And I don't really look like, if I was to tell someone that I look like, that I've been training for three and a half years, I probably don't really look like it. And that's because I wasn't addressing the bottleneck and I wasn't um, identifying what I wanted and what I would take to get it. So my main goal with working out was to pack on muscle. And that was because, you know, I was quite skinny and I wanted to have more confidence in myself. I wanted to gain muscle and just gain more respect with myself. And through it, I kind of like discipline and all these kind of things, but I didn't progress as fast as I wanted to because of my bottleneck, which was at first, which was playing soccer and doing so much cardio work. And it was really hard for me to get all the calories in that I needed to actually build that muscle. And then now that I've dropped soccer, um, almost it would have been about nine months now, you know, I don't have that cardio kind of weighing me down and I can just focus like now on my diet and working out and building muscle. And then I realized my next bottleneck was actually in not eating enough, you know, because, you know, I'm someone who tends to not really feel that hungry. I kind of have to set myself times to eat, have specific things for me to eat and kind of create a schedule around it. Otherwise I kind of won't eat and I'll just kind of get stuck in work or I'll kind of get lost in doing whatever I'm doing. And that was my bottleneck, you know, like I can train as hard as I want. I can train as often as I want, but if I'm not eating enough, if I'm not getting enough calories and if I'm not getting enough protein in, it doesn't matter. So that's why recently I've just been focusing on, all right, so I need to eat, you know, at least four meals a day and I can do it at these times, you know, three hours after each time I eat, you know, have three hours between it. So then I kind of create this schedule and I'm kind of letting myself loose a bit. Usually I'm like very strict on what I eat, but I'm like, all right, we just need to get food in. It's okay if you don't eat the best foods all the time, but ideally you want to be eating, incorporating one salad in a day, so then you're at least getting some sort of veggies and goods into you. So into you. And I do have some more bulking kind of tips that I've kind of learnt that I might give in another video. But for this one, I just want to give a, an overview of the bottleneck and give you um, examples from working out. And this doesn't actually have to just apply to working out. This can be to anything, you know, whether you're playing a sport like I did soccer or you're playing music, you know, kind of like what's your bottleneck in it, you know, and what do you want to do? You know, like if, um, it, for example, for me, you know, if you're a songwriter and you want to write better songs and you kind of look back and your songs like, all right, so my guitar's all right, you know, I can play in tune well enough. Um, I don't mind, I like the kind of riffs that I'm doing, but what's kind of holding me back? And it's like, oh, I'm not singing in tune quite often enough. And I'm also um, not being very experimental with my singing. You know, I'm not trying different ranges. I'm not having a very good vocal melody, which was one that was for me. And I just wanted to kind of give you this idea to like kind of find your bottleneck. So then you can um, progress to like kind of like the next level because there's something that's holding you back to move on to that next kind of thing. So thank you for watching if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.